health news tonight, the world's smallest heart pump. Doctors at Hartford Hospital used it to save a man's life. But they were forced to take extraordinary measures to do it. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Menta in our newsroom with what she found out had to be done. Jocelyn. Sonia and Darren, I found out that at the time, doctors overseas were the only ones using this new device. The Food and Drug Administration had not even okayed it for clinical trials here in the U.S. But doctors at Hartford Hospital really had no choice but to pursue it. A minor surgical procedure brought Howard Gaynor to Hartford Hospital, but two heart attacks while recovering. In my ICU room, I uh, went into cardiac arrest. Led to a more invasive step. You know, at that point, that was two uh, heart attacks within 12 hours. And in the throes of that second heart attack, his heart really began to struggle quite badly. Dr. Roman Margay okay. is the interventional cardiologist who stepped in. And in Howard's case, unusually, the heart attack was predominantly affecting the right side of his heart. The right side of the heart that pumps blood into the lungs. The only solution? So in Howard's case, the device is shaped like this. The smallest heart pump designed for the right side of the heart. But the new device was not yet approved for clinical trials in the U.S. We were left in a situation whereby we could either watch what was going to be a progressive decline and a worsening of a situation, um, or we could try and, and do something. They worked quickly to get approval from the hospital ethics board, the manufacturer, and the FDA. And this is actually the right side of pump device, so first time that this device has been used in the United States. Approved for compassionate use. And this little device is generating five liters of blood flow into his lungs. Doctors were able to save Howard's life. I feel so good physically that everything that we're talking about couldn't have happened. I still can't comprehend how they can build something like that, something that small that is, can do that kind of function. It is pretty amazing. Howard's heart fully recovered after the heart pump was in for six days. Now, four weeks after doctors used it last October, the FDA approved it for clinical trials here in the U.S. So far, though, Howard Gaynor is still the only patient in the United States.